A very good morning to all. Welcome back to our course on the C programming language. In today's session, I am going to discuss about a special function that deals with uh, that is related to the files. That means the function which I want to deal in today's session is fseek function. So this seek is nothing but to place something at the required position. For example, if you are playing some media file in a media player, then at the end you will observe that one particular point is moving on the slider. So this particular slider is called as a seek bar. So what is the use of this seek bar? You can click on this pointer and you can slide it to any position, any required position. In a similar fashion, a function is defined to deal with the files which helps the programmers to move the file pointer to, it, to their desired location. So the purpose of this fseek is it is used to set the file pointer to the specified which is specified by the user to the specified position or we can also say that specified offset so this is the main purpose of this fc so why we require this fc means there may be some situations where the programmer has to move from one position to another position or one position to his or her desired position Therefore, there should be some function that deals with this particular functionality. Therefore, they have designed a predefined function which is called as fseek to move the pointer, file pointer to the specified position. If we look at the syntax of this fseek function, The fseek is the name of the function and here it accepts three parameters. The first parameter will be the file pointer. Let me say it as fp. The second parameter we call it as the offset. And the third parameter we call it as the whence value. It is a constant. And if you look at the data types of this, all these three parameters, this fp is a pointer to a file and this offset is a long int value. So we have a practice of giving the offset value as a simple integer value. But remember that this offset which we have mentioned in the fseek belongs to long integer data type. So it accepts very long integer values. This is the point we have to understand. And the third parameter, which is called as whence, is uh, that it belongs to the integer data type. Right. So these are the three parameters that we have and the return type of the function is the integer itself. So this is the syntax of fseek, fseek is the name of the file and integer is the return type of the file and it accepts three parameters. The first one is the file pointer, the second one is the long integer value which we call it as the offset value and the third parameter is also an integer value we call it as a whence. This is called the constant and let us look at each and every parameter at this particular function for this particular function. So the first parameter is file pointer. There is nothing to discuss about this file pointer. This is nothing but a stream. It is a stream which points to the file. This we have been discussing from the starting point of the files concepts. And 
coming to the second parameter which is called as offset this represents a long integer value and what does it mean means this particular value is used to specify how many bytes you want to move your cursor or you want to move your file pointer to towards the front position or towards the backward also right so for example if i say that plus 10 plus 10 that means i am asking the compiler to move the file pointer in the forward direction for 10 bytes and it can be negative value also so the offset value can be either positive or negative positive value indicates the movement in the forward direction and the negative value indicates the movement in the backward direction you can move the pointer towards front or back also similar to that of a seek bar what i have explained in the starting of this session so if you take the examples as i told that plus 10 means move the file pointer 10 bytes in in the forward direction for example i have a file like this and i have some content like this and assume that my file pointer is at this location and if i give the fseq value on fseq function and the offset value as plus 10 that means i am asking the compiler to move this file pointer 10 bytes in the forward direction this is the forward direction and let us assume that the file pointer is at this position and if i give the fseq function with the offset value as minus 10 I am asking the compiler to move the file pointer 10 bytes in the backward direction like this. Always remember that positive value represents the movement of the file pointer in the forward direction. Negative value represents the movement of the pointer in the backward direction. This is all about the offset and remember that this is a long integer value. It specifies the number of bytes you want to move either in the forward or in the backward direction and coming to the third point parameter which is an integer value and we call it as the whence whence specifies the position of the pointer for example if i give the offset as plus 10 the compiler will come to know that the pointer has to be the file pointer has to be moved 10 bytes in the forward direction but from where from where you want to move the file pointer this is very important so this where to move from where to move is given by this whence value so it is a constant which accepts three values the first value is seek underscore set the second constant is seek underscore current cur and the third value is seek underscore end these are the only three constants that are accepted by this whence parameter so seek underscore set means you are asking the compiler to move the file pointer in the forward or backward direction from the starting position this is from start similarly seek underscore end means you, you are asking the compiler to move the file pointer either in the forward direction or backward direction from the end point and this seek underscore curve means it, is, it represents the current position so wherever you are you, lo you, uh, you move some n bytes in the forward direction or backward direction but you move from the current position itself so let us explain this again let me take my file assume that I have so much of content in the file 
and assume that I have given the offset value as plus 5 and Vance value as seek underscore set. Right. So the file pointer is set at this starting position and you are asking the compiler to move the file pointer 5 bytes in the forward direction. So assume that my file pointer at this location. Now if I give a value of plus 20 seek underscore cur. So you are asking an offset of plus 20 so you are asking it to move in the forward direction 20 bytes but from where it is from seek current at the current position so you place this fp here and 20 bytes will be moved in the forward direction for example instead of seek curl if i give seek underscore set what happens is even the file pointer is pointing to the fifth byte at the position it will move the file pointer to the first position and from there onwards the file pointer will be moved to 20 bytes in the forward direction this is very important and similarly the same value plus 20 and if i give the seek uh, whence constant as seek underscore end so 20 bytes in the forward direction from seek end that means at the end of the file fp will be pointed and 20 bytes in the forward direction you can see here that there are no extra bytes in this uh, uh, forward direction so it will remain as it is nothing wrong in it uh, otherwise you can give it as minus 20 minus 20 seek underscore end means the file pointer will be pointed to the last byte and the file pointer will be moved to 20 bytes in the backward direction. This is how the fseek function is going to work. So this is used to set a file pointer to the specified position or we can specify it as offset. Right. So these are the three important parameters and very important things we have discussed here. Uh, let us have a programming example here. So here I would like to illustrate a C program to illustrate the concept of fseek function. First one is hash include std iv.h and this is my main function and then I have uh, I need to deal with a file, right? So I, I should take one file pointer here. File star fp and the second step is to open the file. fp is equal to f open. Let me take the file as file one dot txt. Any name you can give. I'm just changing the name. That's it. And here the mode which you want to open is very important so whether you want to open the file in the write mode or read mode that is very important you can open the file either in the write mode or read mode or we have some special values or special modes like w plus which allows both the read and write operation for example i want to move the cursor to one position to a specified position and from there onwards i want to insert one new string in my file i am just want to illustrate that particular program only right so you can open it in the read mode or write mode or to make it clear you can open it in the write mode or, or w plus or r plus anything is okay a plus is also okay right it depends on application what you want to do with the file now this is my new file but it is an empty file I have opened it in the right place mode. So if the file does not exist, it will open a new file with empty contents. Now I want to insert a string inside into it. We know from the earlier session that there exists a function called fputs. 
that inserts or that writes a string inside a file. So I make use of that function f put s and I can take a character array separately to deal with the strings and you can give the character name here or you can directly give the string here also. Uh, for example, I write like this, I am crazy about programming. This is the string I want to insert. And where I want to insert that file pointer you should specify, that is nothing but fp. So you should be very careful while using this fputs, fputc, fgetc, all these things, right. Everywhere you will get the character or the integer value or the string which you want to insert as the first parameter. For example, if you take put c, it is accepting two parameters. The first parameter is the character which you want to insert. The second parameter will be the file pointer. Similarly, if you take f put s, the first parameter will be the string. The second parameter will be the file pointer. If you take put w, the first parameter will be an integer and the second parameter will be a file point. Like that all the writing operations or all the functions that support the writing of content into the file they accept the first parameter as the input and the second parameter will be the file pointer right but for the remaining things uh, you will have the first parameter as fp for example if you take fprintf or fscanf the first parameter itself is the file pointer the remaining things are like the format specifiers and the address list or list of values. So you should observe this difference where we have to put the file pointer. For reading and writing functions you have to put the file pointer as the second parameter but for this fprintf and fscanf you have to put the file pointer as the first parameter. This is very important. So after writing this string uh, let me say that I close this function, sorry, I close this uh, file fp. Let me see whether the string has been inserted into my file or not. This is just for verification purpose. See here, the file onetxt is I am crazy about programming. So I am successful in inserting the file or inserting the string. Now let us make a modification to the program such that I want to move the pointer to a specified position. F seek of what is the first parameter we have? The file pointer. The second point, second parameter is the offset. Let me take it as 16. 16 represents the positive value. So we are making the compiler to move the file pointer to move in the forward direction and let me take the whence value as seek underscore set now i want to insert one more string at this particular position that Let me say that I'm crazy about pizza. Let me insert the string pizza at that particular position. And the second parameter will be FP. Right. So what I want to, uh, what I'm trying to do here is I have inserted a text into the file called file1.txt and I want to move the file pointer to my desired location some 16 or 15 or 20 something like that and at that position I want to insert the pizza so I am writing the content so there is nothing to worry about it why because we have opened the file in the write plus mode only therefore you can write as well as you can read nothing wrong here. so you can see that after this particular statement is executed from seek set that means from the first position you have asked the compiler to move the file pointer to place it at the 16th location 
after the pointer is placed at the 16th location you are asking it to put or uh, to write the pizza content into the file pointer let us see what i will get here so go for file1.txt see here i am crazy about pizza arming right or if you take some other uh, thing like crazy about instead of pizza i write it as python language let us execute this one. so after this 16th position let me check it as 17 so execute it see here i got the string like this initially the string that i have inserted is i am crazy about programming but i have moved my file pointer by using the f6 17 positions in the forward direction and then i have inserted a string from that location which is python language so i get it as i am crazy about python language so this is how we make use of the fseq function you can try more and more programs related to this fseq you can try this minus values and uh, positive values and you can try different uh, fseq uh, whens constants such as seek underscore curl seek underscore n and seek underscore set you can try lot of examples for here so this is all about the fseq function before wrapping up let us have a quick recap here so in today's session i have started the discussion of fseq function the main purpose of the fseq function is to set the file pointer to a specified position and the syntax of fseq function is it accepts three parameters the first parameter is the file pointer and the second parameter is offset the third parameter is whens the return type of the function is integer we have discussed a, a deep discussions on these three parameter that is file pointer which is nothing but a stream and offset which is a long integer value it can be either positive or negative if it is positive you are asking the compiler to move the file pointer in the forward direction if it is negative value you are asking the compiler to move the file pointer in the backward direction so we have seen some examples here these two examples we have seen and the third parameter whens Uh, accepts only three constants: seek underscore set, seek underscore cur, and seek underscore n. Everything you have to write it in the capital letters. <coughs> and then we have seen the discussion on uh, a simple program to illustrate the concept of fseq. In this, we have created one file. We have inserted one string using fputs function, and then I have moved the pointer to the 17th byte using this fseq and from there i have inserted a new string by using fputs which is called as python language so i get the output as i am crazy about python language so this is all about our today's session this is all about the fseq function thank you one and all for joining the session